Hey folks, Ariel over here at Fine F. Today we are saving seeds from strawberry spinach. I try to save my own seeds of everything I can here. Um, I'm not able to do it of quite everything because some things simply don't have time to mature before we get winter again. But this bed looks like a bit of a mess right now. <clears throat> this started out as the green bean in the center and onion bed on the sides. Then you probably remember in our real late freeze it killed all the green beans. I replanted them. They're just starting to make beans now and the onions are just about ready to harvest. Um, you can see this end here, they're mostly flopped over. That's what they do when they are done. We're going to do a video about onion harvesting very shortly. Um, some of this variety are not quite ready to pull yet, but in between I had a whole lot of strawberry spinach come up and this was just volunteer. I've planted it in the past, now I get it volunteering all over. If it comes up in a spot I really want something else to have more space, I just pull it out, but I also like it. And you can eat the uh, little, they're not, they don't taste like strawberries, they taste like mulberries to me, but they're delicious. They're good on salads, I've talked about this before, um, but a whole bunch of them went <laughs> to ripe and then way over ripe while I was sick, which now means they've got mature seeds. So that's great because I'd like to plant them in more places and I've got a friend who wants some. So what I'm going to do is simply go through here with this spot that's looking weedy and, and kind of dead and I'm going to pull up each plant. Let me show you what they look like. Sorry about the bright sunshine out here. Um, some of these you could almost eat still, but you see how a bunch of them are just totally dried up and kind of over the hill, but they have mature seeds. So we're just going to dump these in our bucket and show you what that looks like. And I could just leave them here, but I'm just gently pulling them out from around the onions. Got a ton of these. This is one of the beds where I didn't mind them growing as many as they wanted because it uh, just helps shade the onions a little bit. And earlier when the green beans were all dead, it made it look like there was something growing in here. Okay, I'm going to put a lot more in this bucket, but if I just put them in here and start to bang the uh, stalks on the side like that, that doesn't look a whole lot different. But let me see if I can show you. I'm going to end up seeding them all over my pathway. It's hard for me to see out here in the sun. You see all the black in the bottom of the bucket? A little bit of that is soil that is knocked off. The vast majority of that is seeds that have fallen out. Now I don't have to knock them all out right now. I'm actually just going to let them sit in the bucket for a couple days just out in the sunshine where air can move around and they can dry out and then uh, then I'll shake them again really good and I'll end up putting the stalks in the compost to make more soil for uh, the future and then I'll have a bucket of dry seeds. So that is how simple it is to harvest these strawberry spinach plants. And if you're not familiar with this and you want to get some of your own seeds, I think I got mine originally from Baker Creek, rareseeds.com, um, but it's been years now since I've bought any seeds because they are so easy for me to save seeds from. And um, they are delicious. You can eat the leaves as a spinach leaf when they're they're younger they'd be getting bitter now um i often don't because we have so many other greens growing and i'm happy to let them grow to making us their little fruits instead but you can certainly eat them as a a leafy green but the part i think is fun is their fruits anyway hopefully that inspires you to maybe try growing them at some point and they're just really beautiful until they get to the stage of dying back here like this, I think they make a, a just a really pretty landscape plant as well. I had scattered seeds last year into this bed, and as you can see here, one that was on the shady side, its stalk on the left there is um, just about ready to pick, and the one toward the right there, several of those are still quite green, but that's what it looks like when it's younger. And that just came from seeds I threw into this bed 
last year. Right in between all the other blooming flowers. And here's another one right in between blooming flowers where you can see how big and bushy it can get where it had a little more space there and all the really really beautiful just turning red fruits on it before they turn red they look like this stalk just all green spinach looking leaves there's another bright red one almost bright red i'd like to seed some more across the whole property so maybe give them a try they're pretty fun so it's been a couple days. Hi Riley, you want to hop up on the trailer too? Since we pulled these up here and all, I've transferred them into this bigger bucket because I ended up um, pulling a lot more than I thought there was. And every half a day or so I've just kind of come and flipped that whole mass. Oh, you're such a pretty boy. Yeah. Flip the whole mass over so that the air can continue to circulate nothing got moldy that's the part that i flipped up just this morning you can kind of see how those stalks are still a little flexy most of this is now more brittle and hard to see out here in the light brittle and crunchy and and snaps instead of flex as much but now if we can see down in the bottom of the bucket here, we got lots of leaves and stuff. I'll have to blow all this off. But under that, I'm gonna scoop off that stuff. There are thousands and thousands of little black seeds. So I'm gonna keep letting this dry for another couple days, and then I will throw all this mass into the compost. And then what you do with this stuff. Let's pick it up like this with Burley in the background and let's see if I can get this in the camera. I'm going to blow on it. Or you have a little breeze and your heavy seeds drop back down and the leaves and such blow away. So that is how I've harvested my seeds. And like I said, I'm going to scatter these around the rest of the property here and give a couple to a friend hoping that they can maybe uh, take off and I'd just be happy to have them growing all over as a kind of ground cover under other things. Velcro came over to see what we're doing here, sitting beside the bucket on the trailer too. Oh yes, you are a very friendly little kitty. Oh, and you love ear rubs. Yes, you do. We hope you enjoyed it. Come back next time for more adventures. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.